Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Space Crew Blind. We are in another part of this, well, of space. We're in deep space apparently. And now we have some upgraded missile launchers, which should be pretty cool. So we've got a deploy probe to study black hole. That's cool. Investigate Oumuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamuamu
heading updated. Alright. So all shields restored. Now we're going straight for that thing. It's gonna be fun. Tragic for hyper jump. Yeah, it would really suck if you just uh, were sucked into the black hole and that's it. Lost all the crew, lost the ship. <laughs> So how many more jumps? Two more jumps. Okay, I think I'll use the uh, performance analysis and everything for this one. Oh, interesting music. Okay, where are they? Uh, kind of a shame that uh, we don't get more of this music. Because it immediately goes to uh, combat music. It sounds nice. Let's go for a fighter support here. And then we'll try cruiser support at some point as well. Ow, 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 ow. These guys hurt. But those missiles, man. Amazing. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Need those shields, yogurt. Right now. No, they're recharging, but still. And whoosh, there we go. Gotta repair the, well, top up the reactor as well. Why did you leave that there? Oh yeah, because I didn't tell you to actually stow it. Oh well. More stuff coming. There's a railgun doing its stuff. Railgun is pretty good as well because of the high travel speed. Oh, missing a bit. Come on. Hacker as well. 300 for that one. Still performance analysis going. Get him! Power! Don't miss. Oh, he's getting the O2. Well, he was getting it, and now he's destroyed. Nice. Man, that was really good. Engage! Retreating to refuel. Oh, look at that planet. It looks so cool. Event Horizon. No enemies incoming, it seems. Retreating to refuel. Nate Noob can just top up his health a little bit and stow that uh, his rifle. That's exactly what they say. What are you talking about? Okay, stow that. There you go. Lovely. Oh, and we're not in range. Just in range now. Perfect. Alright, let's see this black hole now. That's gonna be cool. And... Oh, break, break! Oh, that looks cool, actually. Really cool. Oh! Warning. Gravitational anomaly. This area is affected by the gravitational field of a nearby anomaly. Leaving the confines of the ship will result in certain death. Wait until you're out of the sector to repair engines. The captain's station must be occupied at all times. Oh yeah, I suppose it uh, drags you in otherwise. Engines must have at least one unit of power allocated from the reactor. Bloody hell. <laughs> That's creepy. Oh look. You have to hold it. Oh. Okay, eject cargo. Alright, go, go, go. We cannot wait. Why are you flying straight towards it? Oh yeah, it is actually that big. That... Um, we're approaching it very slowly. There he goes. Probe deployed. I will transmit data until it passes the event horizon. Remain uh, in the sector until all data is transmitted. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's creepy. Black hole. Wow, that one went down fast, but it is just a normal little fighter. Oh, it's still going. I like the creepy music as well. And they did that right. Our scientists are fascinated by the data. This will keep them busy for a long time. Good job, crew. Return to Athena. Wait, what is that? What the heck is it? 
What is that? Why is it, uh, What is that? Radiation? Ugh. It's some sort of radiation things. Ugh. You know what? Let's call for cruiser support. Let's see what it does. Probably wasted right now, but cruiser ready for engagement. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Well, I suppose... I mean, if that's a cruiser, our ship is a cruiser as well, even though it looks more like a small frigate. Really not even a frigate, more like a fast attack ship of some sort. But that's cool, they've got some uh, rail guns there and auto cannons. Pretty cool. It's not as maneuverable, obviously, but yeah, definitely helps. I suppose. I mean, at least it makes the area look pretty. <laughs> Because I don't see it hi hitting very much. Ow, 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 ow. Those guys hurt. And they don't give up. They go slow. And just, yeah. Ouch. We got a lot of XP, 7400. Gravity generator requires repair. We don't care about gravity. Come on, missiles. I need missiles here. They would do great against these guys. There we go. Boom! Well, they missed, but look! These guys also are like pearlescent or something. I guess that means they're uh, bad boys. Yeah, come on. More missiles. Is the cruiser still with us? Yes, it is. It is over there. All the way over there. Thanks! Thanks for the help! Come on. Focus fire already on these bastards. Oh, oh, oh. Well, okay. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. They do have missiles. That was actually really helpful. <laughs> it was like, wow, they're useless. But, uh, okay. Sorry. Oxygen needs repair. That's cool, though, with this black hole. Awesome. I love the creepy giant warning at the beginning. It really sets the mood for things. Black hole. Oh no. Okay. Off we go. Away from here. Um, I'm, I'm really hoping you're not going to jump towards it. Okay. Because that'd be bad. It'd be bad. You know, come to think of it. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm... Probably not many people here will know what an Alcubierre drive is, but I, I really like reading about, you know, sort of theoretical technologies like that. Anyway, um, short, long story short, an Alcubierre drive is um, a thing that was... I cannot remember who it was designed or in theory by. Um... You know, they did the theoretic calculations, but Alcubierre was the one that sort of um, uh, made it... Oh, what's going on? Oh, again. Made it sort of better because uh, the original design required... Um, well, it's, it's basically a warp drive. It would bend space to allow a ship to circumvent the, you know, laws of physics, and it would in a way, go faster than light relatively to our position, even though it wouldn't go faster than light, uh, but it would bend space. Um, anyway, it would require to function uh, exotic material, which doesn't actually exist. And, it, you know, the original one said that it would require... Oh, aha, space crew, how do you... Uh, the story is put it. Ah, yes, now witness the power of my fully operational beam weapons. Ow! That's, um... Fighter support, please. You guys, uh, you're crewing that thing. You're braver than I thought. Okay, focus fire on everything. Yeah. Oh, geez, there's more stuff coming. Uh, let's do performance analysis as well. I find your human race disturbing. <laughs> Those eyes are awesome. Oh, geez. Come on. Oh, 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 get it. 
I knew I had a bad feeling about this, but don't get cocky. You'll find I'm full of surprises. Well, he's almost dead. Uh, and he's running away, unfortunately. That's a shame. We almost got him there as well. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, he calculated the, the exotic material because it needed negative mass, I believe. The exotic material would need to have negative mass for that Okubia drive to work. Uh, they calculated that it would require something like uh, an entire Saturn's worth of mass of this exotic material. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm speaking from memory now. I've, I've read it many, many years ago. Anyway, Alcubier sort of perfected, I suppose, that design, so you would only need, I don't know, a few dozen kilograms or something of, of that exotic material. Um, but yes, long, long, long story short, what I really wanted to tell originally by that, why I started talking about it, come on, ouch, uh, was... <laughs> I'm missing... Ow. Um, what would happen if an Alcubier drive was a real thing uh, and it was working? What would happen if you were to use it to bend space and go through a black hole? I mean, because a black hole already bends space. I mean, in all kinds of weird ways. It even sucks in light. I mean, jeez. Um... But what, what, what would happen with that? I mean, that, there's... If, you, if you're interested in that sort of stuff, go and read about the Alcubierre Drive if you haven't yet, because it is really fascinating. The, all the, the tech and the theory behind it. And also then, people disputing the Alcubierre Drive. Like, someone said that even if the Alcubierre Drive would work and the exotic material with negative mass would exist, which we don't know yet that it exists, or if it does at all, um... It would create, I can't remember what, like a charge of some sort of particles at the front of the ship, at the front of the bubble, that when the ship arrived, it would create like a death ray, or, you know, at the front of the ship that would annihilate everything. <laughs> you know, it's stuff like that. It just boggles the mind. I'm obviously not a scientist of any kind. I just really, really like reading about this sort of stuff. And it is fascinating for a layman and i'm sure it's absolutely fascinating for scientists as well but it's just when you get to quantum physics and 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 bending space and things like that it's just you realize just how tiny and insignificant we are in in this whole grand scheme of things in this universe and existence and beyond i mean you know, if the string theory is through and such, I mean, there's an unlimited number of universes out there, each slightly different. In, in one of those universes, I'm a god. <laughs> I mean, it's just... Unbelievable. It does boggle the mind. At least it boggles my mind. Anyway, oh, low emissions engines. Let's check that. So wait a second, let's go to spacecraft first this time around. Uh, so we've got the standard engine Mark II. But we've got the low emissions, an improved low performance engine designed for safety. Oh yeah, because it just does less, uh, less radiation stuff. It looks cool though. It looks very cool like that. But this one is the agile one. And I really like it. Uh, and this is the standard one. But yeah, that uh, evasiveness really is really nice. This is 35, the same as this one. But yeah, the 45 evasiveness is lovely. Alright, let's see the systems. What was new here? Fast Charge Shields Mark II. So that, yeah, the Fast Charge Shields Mark II. Gravity Generator Mark III. Oxygen Mark III, efficient. That's still the same as before. And the Medical Bay. Oh well. Let's see the crew gear, then. Okay, so we got some boots. Um, powered boots marked too, but... We've all... Oh no, these are powered boots. Okay, not, uh, not the armored gravity boots. 
These power boots provide a good amount of additional mobility to the wearer's furs and protection. Yeah, kind of useless because we never have a gravity on. So, eh, not uh, interested in that. All right. Well, thank you as usual for watching, and I will see you next time. Sorry about the techno babble, but you know, I, I really like that sort of stuff, and I, it just occurred to me when we were trying to jump from that black hole. Hey, what what would actually happen theoretically if? Uh, if an old Kubier drive would be bending space while going towards a black hole. Bleh. I mean, the end of everything as we know it? I have no idea. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.